The protests that swept more than 20 countries this past week are dying down, but the anti-Americanism lingers. And Saturday, the State Department issued warnings for Sudan and Tunisia. A State Department spokeswoman said, given the security situation in Tunis and Khartoum, the State Department has ordered the departure of all family members and non-emergency personnel from both posts. David Santiago is the head of security for the American Cooperative School of Tunis, which is across the street from the embassy compound, which was overrun by protesters on Friday. You know, it was it was two waves. You know, the first wave seemed like serious, knowing what they were doing, uh, more of a religious bent, whereas the second wave was just criminals, looters, taking advantage of the situation. The State Department also issued travel warnings for both countries to U.S. citizens. Saturday, an elite Marine rapid response team arrived in Yemen to boost security at the embassy in the capital. And Libyan investigators began examining the inside of the American consulate in Benghazi, where U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens and three other employees were killed on Tuesday. Pakistan, come and come Meanwhile, hundreds took to the streets in Pakistan. They chanted slogans and burned U.S. flags, plus an effigy of President Obama. The violence linked to the film Innocence of Muslims spread to Australia. Riot police clashed with about 200 protesters at the U.S. consulate in Sydney. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.